before you can attempt a renovation project on a building that's falling apart like this one behind me over here you need to know what that building is made up of you need to order the right supplies and get them delivered on site the human body is one of the most complex pieces of machinery on the planet we cannot renovate our health or our bodies unless we provide the right supplies to each and every cell of the body the body has an incredible capacity to heal to replace broken cells, to fix the broken pieces, but we need to provide the right supplies. I invite you to get your work clothes on, to put your thinking cap on and come and rethink with us how we can renovate our health. planted it when it was about no, about this high then the horse ate the growing tip off the top I thought it had died so there was literally a single twig that looked dead that was that high and um, that was uh, probably about eight months ago and it has just grown and flourished and has encouraged us with our gardening project plant will thrive unless it is positioned in the specific circumstances that it was designed to grow in. If a specific plant doesn't receive the right amount of light, the right amount of water, airflow, if the conditions aren't right, that plant will not thrive, no matter what you do to it. For us as human beings, it's exactly the same. If we don't make the effort of seeking out which conditions we were designed to grow in, we will not thrive. If we don't place ourselves in an environment where we receive all the right ingredients that are required for our health and our growth, then we simply will not grow and thrive and be in the health that we were designed to be in. Part of our job is to seek out that information, is to seek out what are we supposed to incorporate into our daily lives to ensure that we are in the best possible health. This garden has really taught us that thriving in good health is not an accident. I have propagated plants into smaller, smaller plants and planted them, planted them out in various areas in our garden. And they don't all do the same, even though they come from the exact same root plant. They certainly do not all thrive in the same way in different areas in the garden under different conditions. Our genetic predisposition might affect to a small degree how we how we live and uh, the health that we experience. But genetics is a very small component. How we live, the choices we make every day, the sunlight and fresh air and nutrition and water and relationships and stress that we are under every day, that determines how well we thrive. <laughs>